Hey, happy, I think it's Thursday. Yes, Thursday. It's Max with Star Lizard Gaming, and today I am with Jeffers of Winterhold. And he is dragging around. Where is he? Best on here, our good friend. I've, uh, I know they're the other newer companions, but I've converted Baston here to using two-handed axe and basically being a blocker for me. And we're going to see how that works. There's a few characters like Jeffers here, who's a stamina uh, a magic warden, who Baston here might actually be really useful for. Okay, for what I'm doing here, it's Death Valley Valor Keep. Which is there. And as you can see, Jeffers hasn't cleaned out a lot of this area yet. With my ultimate alternate characters, I generally just go through and pick up the uh, sky shards and occasionally do dungeon quests. Like I'm going to do now. We're going to pop in here. We already picked up the skull of uh, some knight. And we wander through here, going to wherever the skull actually needs us to go for now, and making sure I pick up the Sky Shard and kill the boss here. So, since there are a lot of people rolling through here, it could be possible I don't have to kill too many enemies and may have to wait around for the boss. Okay. I'm helping Baston here. As you can see how he's doing. He's already at maximum level, of course. But it's his skills I'm worried about. The weapon. And the two-handed. He's up at nine, and I really need him to get much better. So I have to take him out and run him around with various people. Well, his trip here with Jeffers through all of the... Uh, Various dungeons picking up sky shards should help out a lot. In fact, if I'm lucky, I might actually be able to get him bumped up one level just with this alone. Okay, yep, kill that. What I also have going on is the daily city quest in this dungeon, too. I found it useful to just pick those quests up and just do them as you run upon the dungeons. With this book, he to okay, These I gotta keep going places. Oh, well, Baston needs the experience, so that's fine with me. Okay. Unfortunately, we have an endeavor that says uh, kill foes with uh, weapon skills. Unfortunately, magic users really don't do that so well. They're better at killing things with their class skills. But I'll have Jeffers do a few things here, and then later on I'll do stuff with other people. That's what happens when you have like a character with every class. Uh, both mana and stamina. You have like, I have like 14 of them, I think. I'm not sure. Might be 15 characters. All right. Keep right on going. It's worth it to pick up the stuff that's here before hopping down into the dungeon. 
That way, once you're done, you can just head out. Yes, he's doing dark convergence, and it's actually really useful in PvE. I'm not really wasting my time listening to what these guys have to say. Because this is about the sixth or seventh time I've run through here. And now we head on down to where the boss is and where the Sky Shard is. Now that's where the boss is plus a few other things. So I'll grab this first for the dungeon quest and hit it over here for the regular daily quest. Oh, we've gained a championship point. That's useful. Well, Bastion's helping out a bit better than others would be in this position. At least he gets there and fights the guy. Well, that's slightly more challenging, or actually it'll take slightly more effort. Okay, we've grabbed the Knight's Skull. Unlocked a treasure chest that somebody else apparently missed. It's intermediate, so... It could be okay, or at least useful enough to sell on a vendor. Nice haul. Yeah, it's not bad. The metal guards still sell for the steadfast stuff. Still sells for around 800 to 1,000. And here we go. Oh, good. I don't have to waste time. Where it was going before. You'd have to wait like 10 15 minutes for the boss to spawn because so many people are killing them. Okay, somewhere up here. Oh, here it is. I have to do the night skull now. Oh. What, I'm not close enough to the thing? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we get out of here. And go straight across and basically kill everything in the way because you're here for experience points. Or at least our friend Baston is. Oh, actually got a torch but Thorax. For uh, actually use in alchemy instead of just bug parts. All right, and we are out of here. Back going to High Island. Place the 
inside of you deeply you covered in that gray covered in that gray earth will never leave it will never hold his keep now now can okay, do the stuff for the quest it's time the mistakes of the past were buried now no one will suspect what this grave hides and talk to the skull be made to rest atop that tombstone I'm not sure how long. All right, we're done with that. I've done this quest like a half a dozen times easily. And we've gotten the sky chart and everything out of there. <coughs> now the next fastest dungeon to go to... It would be... Here, actually. Or actually this, I am going to do the fast recall. And head up here. Talk to this squire. Dame Maddock and I. She has a rep. Ah, as sure as the light of Magnus. The deal is, his his mentor is on the island here, which is the public dungeon, and he's trying to be a squire or knight in training. Therefore, you go through the whole quest line. Uh, you kill a bunch of bosses here because it's the public Dame dungeon. Maddox. Hopefully gain good loot There's out of here. No in this. Away with you. Blast. This isn't over. Oh, many. Okay. She explained the situation where that guy is evil and she's good and you're supposed to vanquish evil. Seriously, that's what it comes down to. He's abusing uh, whatever power and she wants him to stop. And the best way in this world to get somebody to stop doing something is kill them. It was so good. The tower. <laughs> First, we, I've extended most of my life, really. Okay. Oh, great. Let's head to the statuary hall on the northwest side of the gardens. Should be plenty of bone to work with there. I guess I'll just have to take these guys out because I don't feel like sneaking through them, and there are thankfully people here. No, oh, the gargoyle. Okay, Bascon will not show him getting experience because he's at level 20, but hopefully he's getting experience for his weapon skill. Wow, those two guys do look kind of similar. Oh well. Okay, grabbing this thing. No work for what we need. We have the hilt. Now we need. Not talk to him. <laughs> like I said, I've done the quest dozens of times. There are lots of walkthroughs for this. Okay, you see up there? That's eventually where we want to be. Where he's shooting that beam of red. Oh, good. And through the shortcut. Okay, let us see if we can find more bosses to kill. Somewhere in here is an old executioner square. Keep an eye out for a block. Most likely to stay good. Now it's dark as day. There's the executioner block. Oh well. Kinda hoping not to have to 
fight these in here. Mainly because they're annoying and they don't really give you a lot of treasure or anything else. I cringe to imagine what horrors that thing has seen. Alright, now we need to get the water flowing around the tower again. Let's head to the mill southeast of the tower. Sure, sure. This right, is a great see. area for harvesting. Okay, now let's see in here. This is the group dungeon. If there's nobody else here, we will leave this alone because they are ridiculously tough. And there's nobody else in here wandering around. I'll come back and get this later. I only have a couple of characters who could actually beat this thing with them and their companion. That it stands best on and this other guy wouldn't last 30 seconds against them. Okay, we'll swing this way to pick up the extra boss, who, whatever it might be, it's already been killed. Okay, I might as well talk to Squire Ryan here Let's while we wait. Well. Okay, let's go reach the mill. There's usually a boss there. Hmm. I have a feeling I would be like one boss behind the whatever group was up there first. Good job, best arm. Oh. Okay, they managed to be in here to kill that thing. I'm getting no bosses at all. All you're getting here is a tour, basically, of the dungeon and some other creatures in it. Okay, took those guys out. Now, in here is the maze. Thankfully, I've done it enough that I probably shouldn't get too lost. I'm actually looking up at the map here to make sure I hit this right. Yep. into this. Here's the second one. Nope, this one. Okay, since he's here, he's a bit annoying, but I'm going to try and take him. What he'll do is he'll hide somewhere and send people after you.
I can. He's right over here. And what you do is you hit him. And you come back here. What you do is conveniently fast on will find him for you. Actually, any of your companions will. Okay, now we can do the. I can do the ultimate. Oh, geez, some fool brought this thing in here too. Okay, stuff from the Crimson Apprentice. Yay, we killed it. Come out here. Go right around here. And here is the shard. They said the boss himself isn't that difficult. He's really annoying. You just have to move instantly to the next area he's at. Otherwise he'll have his ad on just kill you. Now to get out, you head out this way, I believe. That kill these. Olivian, take you. you can already tell the excitement's worn off and people are going back to their usual routine. Alright, that was fun, but now it is time to get out of here. And we're free. Go up here. We're at the mill, which we have to deal with. But we might as well kill off these guys because they're going to be here anyway. When I get done with doing the uh, starting up the mill again. Okay, that's done. Now come back Hope over here. Just See if you can find a way to get it turned again. No again, you're going to be attacking these things anyway. You might as well just clear them out before you play with the glabbers. All right, they're dead. Pop back up here. Kick the water wheel level. Almost it's done. going. We can assemble the weapon at the smithy southwest of the tower. Let's go. Yep, yep, southwest of the tower. Yep, loot that that guy and maybe. Oh yes, the boss is there and there are people there.
Alright, I should I'll pop back and then took care of chill spine. Run back up here, kill that guy now. I gotta tell you, the new mobs aren't quite as docile as the old mobs. These guys actually act like they want to kill you. Okay, let's talk to Squire. Then we'll head to the blacksmith, which we're going to anyway, but... Okay, there's one more boss here, which is also a surprise, surprise, where we need to go to. Oh look, rats. Good. He does change on change on to you pretty quickly. Alright, we got Bass on a new level. At least for his uh, weapons. There's the smithy. Everything we need should be inside. Exemplary work. Now quench it in the water of the tower and we'll have what we need. Again, having done this a half a dozen times. Look at that thing. You just sort of go through the motions here. Very well done. I do. Now we gotta go kill something or somebody. Oh yeah, that guy. The evil magician. <laughs> More rats. Okay, all those guys are, well, only gold in experience, and actually not very much gold. Oh well. Let's head on up for the final conflict to get rid of this guy.
Alright, those guys were that difficult. Oh, that's his statue. I was wondering why that thing wasn't attacking. Wow, well, not a bookshelf. Or anything else, actually, to look at. Sorry there, best um. Be up there in a minute. She, of course, died sacrificing herself, but I think she also had cancer or something else and was going to die anyway. No, no, my dear friend. Meanwhile, we're going to get up here. Oh, good, a bookshelf. Best song likes it when you read. And I'm guessing this is where the boss fight is going to be. Yep. I guess he is. Alright, that's done. Head back downstairs. I'm going to head back to shore. See you there, my friend. Oh yeah, now he abandons us. Fortunately, unlike a lot of these NPCs. He doesn't abandon us while we're at the other end of the dungeon. We actually have a pretty good chance of just running over here with no problem. Oh, good. And, let's see. That guy's up there. More experience. It's over. I need to recover, Matt. No, I like that. I couldn't have. I'm not sure. Okay, we've got that. his quest over with. Okay, let's see what I have for best on as far as skills go. Okay, that's the one that does the knockback. Go with that for a while and see using his new skill. All right, now what is next? I don't believe much because all I'm doing right now with these guys, except for the dailies, which is kind of interesting, beating up the uh, world bosses and that, is <sighs> yeah, I see. Unfortunately, Jeffers hasn't explored enough of the map for that to be helpful. So, what we will do is head back here. Turn in the quest and then probably call it a day for doing broadcasting right now. Do some more a little bit when I get back into PvP and showing you the daily stuff. We are not going to be doing his quest. But we will run up here and get rewarded. Back so soon? Well done, adventurer. 
if you need gold. I have jobs and gold to pay. When I'm here, especially with these secondary characters, go to be careful out there. I grab the quest and go do them when I feel like it. And there's one more thing I wish to do on Jeffers, other than selling stuff, which will be a bit boring. Don't worry, I'm not gonna have you actually watch me do the. What? My quest log is full. I didn't realize I had so many of these. Okay, now it should be allow me to pull the quests. Anyway, I'm not gonna make you watch me do those. I just wanna come over here and check the new style because I picked up a new style for hats and I want to see how it works with Jeffers here. Yeah, it's all the way down here. The high rock. Let's see. It just looks like with equipped. Oh, that won't work so well for him. Others, however, might have worked well with, but him and show the, uh, hair stuff. Oh well. So it goes back with the regular hood. Oh, well, I was wondering how that would work. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to do a quick um, run with the crafting stuff. Which, having the new being able to set it up this way with knowing your quest and only. Uh, you just make sure you Pick one of those that you have a lot of, you hit R, and do it a couple more times. And surprisingly enough, this one is complete. Alright, that's that for now. I'll do the rest in a minute. Alright, thanks for watching. This is how the routine is for a while until I start going back to Cyrodiil. Anyway, I will be back tomorrow or the next day. And again, thanks for watching, and if you have, actually want me to see specific dungeons done in High Isle, just mention it and I'll probably have one of my characters go out and do it. Thanks again!